Hi! In this video session, we'll show you how the cluster control will handle the failover, but this time using a PostgreSQL version 10 on a primary standby cluster. So, as discussed in our video session about how to manage a replication failover or switchover process for MySQL, MariaDB, and PostgreSQL, the failover is applicable for scenarios when an error happens or a failure in the current active primary master database node and doesn't need any human intervention. So what we're gonna do is to simulate a master crash by killing a PostgreSQL process and check how Cluster Control will react to manage the incident. Before we begin, uh, Cluster Control requires that you must have to enable uh, automatic recovery which enables the cluster recovery and node recovery button set to be green, uh, meaning these are enabled. So the, these buttons are actually the cluster and node. Uh, these, these two uh, must have to be set on or green. Now, uh, Optionally, uh, you can set this within your configuration file in your cluster control host. So let's check that. So this can be found in the slash etc slash imon.d as imon underscore uh, cluster id uh, conf in your cc host, just like this. So as you can see, uh, this is the configuration file of the PostgreSQL cluster that we have right now. So let's see that. So as you can see, uh, I have set this to 1. Optionally, you can actually remove this because by default, uh, if you have set this when you when you create the cluster control via the uh, sorry when you create the cluster PostgreSQL in the cluster control, uh, this will be set to one or enabled by default. So if you leave it uh, or remove it in the configuration file, that means uh, you you are actually enabling it. Uh, now, if you don't want to auto recovery to happen, you can just disable by clicking these two buttons to cluster a node to disable it like this so let's click that or you can leave it to your config file and set to zero like this so in your config file something like this so you just have to set it to zero so the parameters are enable underscore cluster underscore auto recovery and enable underscore node underscore auto recovery so we're back in the cluster control uh, controller dashboard. So as you can see, we have actually enabled it for both uh, cluster and node recovery. Now uh, we're now in the current master of the PostgreSQL, which is the DevNode 4 host, or the let's check the IP address. So it's 192.168.30.40. And if we go back here, uh, the IP address is actually 192.168.30.40, which is actually correct. So we're going to simulate the crash. Right now we're going to kill the master. Let's try that. So before we're doing that, uh, let me explain for this. Uh, I'm using the pgrep, so that means we're going to uh, uh, search for the strings uh, Postgres that uh, asterisk then that asterisk main. So it will look like this. Then let's go back. Let's try that. Okay. Let's go back to the cluster control. Now we're seeing that uh, cluster actually f f has been detected as failure. So let's check that. So it triggers the failover to a new master right now. As you can see that the current master is actually being down. So it tries to reslave the dot 60 and which the uh, dot 50 will actually take took over as the master. So let's check what's actually going on. So cluster control handles it uh, by first uh, stopping the PostgreSQL node on the that forty, uh, which which is in fact actually being stopped. So this which is actually already stopped because since we already uh, killed that, and then it attempts to promote the dot fifty uh, host, and then the dot sixty actually has also been stopped, uh, and then. Then it applies the PG Rewind. Uh, well, this actually failed because it's uh, reasonable since the dot 50 was actually just being uh, the s I mean sorry the the dot 50 uh, here. So so the dot 50 actually just been uh, promoted as the new master, which uh, actually don't have the correct walls, which is previously that was the dot 40, and then uh, it tries to create uh, the recovery dot com for dot 60. It tries to update that. And then, uh, since the 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 current master is now pointed to that fifty, so 
tries to set this up and then starts the PostgreSQL. So let's check that. Here, uh, well, you can see that the master has actually been down. And then let's go to the topology. Now we're on the topology tab and it shows the failed master is now marked as yellow, which means uh, the cluster is actually degraded. And we left with two nodes, one primary and one standby. Now let's see what happens if the failed master suddenly goes back up online after the incident. We'll show you that in the next video session.